Well, hello and welcome back. And <clears throat> up to this point, we've been talking about strings and how to use the built-in functions in the standard C library. So what if you wanted to create your own string uh, functions for yourself for your own use? Now, you won't have to create the ones that you already use, but what if you want to create some different ones? Let's examine the ones that are already there for you and how you would actually implement them. We can start with the simple string compare. So the string compare, if you remember, returns an integer. And it's a simple, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it string compare. And since it's just comparing strings, it's not actually modifying them. We can just pass a constant char pointer and we call it string one. And we have to call call another one, so we say constant char pointer s2. And you may be wondering, how do you compare strings? So the way the string compare functions, and it's it may be a little mysterious at first, but if you think about it, if you have let's say you have two strings, and you have string a a a. The S1 he has string S2 equals A B C the way all we have to do to compare which determine which one is greater is watch the string character by character until we find a difference so for example we take and look at this first character we say oh they're the same check the next character we find a difference here and we say, oh, look, they're different. And so we can determine which one is greater. Now, the the characters in the, they have an integer value in the ASCII table. And for example, A has a lower value than B. So that way we can determine which one comes in order alphabetically. So the way we can do this to compare them, we simply walk the pointers. So we can say something like this, wow, S1, and we are actually after the value of S1, not the address, while S1 not equal, not equal to the no character, and S2 not equal to the no character. Because remember, we, we are working with strings, and strings should always have a terminating character. If they don't, all bits are off. And then the finally, one last thing we want to do is, since we're checking to see that they're all the same, and we say and S1 equals S2, and just walk the pointers. So we can say S1 plus plus S2 plus plus. So what we're doing here in S1 and S2, we are moving the pointer along. We start off with this one and we say, is it not equal to null in this case, right? And we also check on this one and we say it's not equal to null. And then we perform a third check and we say it while they're equal, they are. So we navigate to the next one and we say increment S1 plus plus. So we move the pointer to the next character in the session. And we do the same thing again. Now, in the second session, in the second loop, we find out that they're different. We stop at that point. We break out of the loop, right? Because we're saying, wow, they're equal. They're no longer equal. So it breaks out of the loop, but it's still pointing to those two locations. So then all we have to do is very simply say, if as one, equals the value the character stored in s2 return zero else if s1 greater than s2 return one else there's only one option and we already know what that is. It can either be greater than, equal to, or less than. So we can return 
negative 1. And that's all there is to our string compare function. Now let's see if it works. We have an error. Where's our error? Line 26, implicit declaration. Function printf. Oh, I made a mistake here. A function printf. So let's try it again. It should return zero, and it does. What if we gave it a couple of different strings? We may want to run several tests on this. So very simply, we can <coughs> we can take, for example, that, and let's do all our tests. And let's say z, 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 four z's, and let's say four z's, and let's run it. They should all return zero because they are all equal. What if we wanted it, let's take our zero test, and we want to return one, because that would mean that the first string is greater than the second string. So for example, we take A equals B, and we can take A greater than a blank, and we can take A, 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 B, and a, 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 and see, let's see what it returns. Ooh, what's wrong? Oh, this, my test is actually wrong. So it should be B, A, like this. And now that my test was actually wrong. And then we can test for the other case where we reverse this And then we should say return. And in all actuality, we shouldn't say one. We should say greater than zero. Remember, that's our comparison, greater than zero. And these should be less than zero. But we know that our function returns one and negative one and zero. It doesn't return anything else. So it meets that criteria. So in this case, we would reverse these. That's all our cases, and we can run it, and you can see that it works. So that's very simple to compare, and you can see how simple that was done. What if you wanted to copy a string? Well, very simply, if you remember the co the copy, uh, the string copy is declared like this, and we pass it a character pointer target and this one we declare as const because we don't want to change this one source how would we copy this well going back to the same thing we were doing earlier we can say simply while source not equal to the no character we want to copy every character in it and we are actually after each individual character and we can say source plus plus and we can take target and we want to modify target the value in target equals the value in source we're copying one character over at a time but we also have to increment the pointer to our target simply like that finally our target we make sure that we terminate it with the no character.
Because remember, we're saying that while not equal to the, to, to the null character, so it's not going to copy the null character, so it's our job to copy it over. Then, since target is already modified, but we also want to return target, and we just simply return the pointer to target. That's simple. Let's see if it works. Let's create a holder string. Oh, make a mistake of doing that. So we create a, a string, we call it name, make it 30 characters long, initialize it to zero, and let's just do a string copy, string copy, name, and we say John, and we output John. And there you have it. Our copy works. Very simple. You can see how simple it is to work with character uh, to do your own actual string functions. So you may want to actually one day create your own string functions for whatever is missing out of the library, out of the C library. And so just keep in mind that with strings, we didn't have to pass the length because we know that strings always terminate with the no terminating character. So for example, if you were to have something like this, when it comes to names, let's say that care name two 30 equals, and I give it Joe Smith. But here I put the no terminating character and I go to print the name two. Let's see what happens. Name two only says Joe. It doesn't say Smith. What happened? Well, since the string has a null terminating character in the middle, the print function ignores it. And that's how most string functions work. They will stop at the first null character and ignore everything after that. So be careful with that null terminating character. It can come back and bite you. Uh, for now, that's all. Let's just uh, show what we did. The string copy here, if you want to pause and see what it looks like. And the string compare here, pause if you want to see what that looks like. Very simple. And here's how you call them. And you can pause in case you want to see what that looks like. And I will leave the link in the video. So just remember in the comments in the description below, you will have the link to the source code if you want to play around with it and do different things. So thanks for watching. Until next time.